Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to solve the problem which is called exactly one swap. So I given a string as containing lowercase English alphabet characters. You have to calculate number of distinct strings that can be obtained after performing exactly one swap. Let's try to take an example. Suppose you have s is equal to uh, geek, right? The string s is equal to geek. So what can you do? So let's number them 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can swap. Let's say you swap 1 and 2. If you swap 1 and 2, what you will get? You will get e, g, e, k, right? Now let's say you swap 1 and 3. If you swap uh, the uh, characters at positions 1 and 3, what you will get? You will uh, get E, E, G, K. Okay. Now let's try to swap the positions uh, 1 and 4. If you swap uh, at positions 1 and 4, what you will get? K, E, E, J. Okay. Uh, e, G. Now um, what we'll do is, uh, let's take the next position. So now uh, let's take the next position. So we have considered the position 1. Now let's try the next position. So from, let's try to swap at position number 2. So if you swap 2 and 1, again you will obtain the same thing as 1 and 2. So we will not do this. Uh, we cannot even swap 2 with 2. Uh, there is no sense in that. So let's start with 2 and 3. So you can swap uh, positions 2 and 3. What you will get? You will get geek. Okay. Now let's try to swap uh, positions 2 and 4. If you swap positions 2 and 4, what you will get? Uh, the string that you will get is, first of all, let me write this in blue color. So by positions 2 and 3, you will get geek. If you swap at positions 2 and 4, what you will get? You will get G K E E. Okay. Now let's uh, go to the next possible case. So what is the next possible case? Uh, at position three, right? So at position three, if you swap with one, you will already be repeating this. If you swap uh, three and two, right? Now if you swap three and two, what will happen? If you swap E with E again, right? You will be getting geek. But you have already taken geek once, right? So there is no point in taking this geek again. Okay. So you will not take this again. Now there is no point in swapping 3 and 3, okay? So you will swap at positions 3 and 4. So if you swap at positions 3 and 4, what uh, what will you get? Uh, let us let me write that string. So uh, the first two positions will remain same and you are swapping the positions 3 and 4. So you will get G, E, K, E, okay? So so uh, this is it. Uh, this These are all the possible cases that you can get, okay? Uh, because if you try swapping at position 4, 4 and 1 you have already obtained by swapping four, uh, 1 and 4. 4 and 2 you have already obtained by swapping 2 and 4. 4 and 3 you have already obtained and there is no point in swapping 4 and 4. Okay, So what are the total strings? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, How many total strings do you have? We have 6 total strings. Okay, So 6 is your answer. Now let's quickly take another example uh, to try to understand. Let's take a very simple example. Okay, Let's say S is equal to ABC. So what are you going to do? So le let me write the positions again. So you have 1, 2, 3. So if you swap positions 1 and 2, what you will get? You will get BAC. If you swap positions 1 and 3, what you will get? Uh, you will get CBA. Okay. So these are the possible strings at position 1. Okay. Now let's take the next example. At position 2, what you can do? Uh, 2 and 1 you have already considered. Uh, let's try 2 and 3. Okay. Let's try the case 2 and 3. So swap at positions 2 and 3, what you will get? ACB. Okay. So you will get the string ACB. Now uh, this is these are the possible strings. So that's it. So you have three strings BAC, CBA, and ACB. So, so your answer is 3 in this particular uh, case. Okay. Now uh, let's quickly take one more example. So what is the uh, main point in this is uh, you have to consider the cases when, when there is repeating strings, right? Let's say you have something like this. Now uh, since this becomes a complex problem, right? This becomes a complex problem. You cannot try listing down everything. Let's try to build the logic, right? So what is the logic in this? See, see, okay. Uh, let's take a very simple example. See, if, if all of the strings were unique, right? If see, let's say you had six, six characters and all of the characters were unique. Okay, how many total uh, strings you would have got? Let's consider this case. A, B, C, D, A, E, F. How many total um, uh, strings you would have got by swapping? See, at the first position, how many swaps can you make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At the first position, you can swap with 5 characters, right? You can swap with B, C, D, E, F. You can swap with 5 characters. So for the first position, you can swap with. At the second position, how many swaps can you make? Already you have, you have checked for the case for first so you so you can ignore this case all the remaining uh, swaps you can make you can make four swaps right at the second position you can make four swaps similarly at the third position you can make three swaps right you can make three swaps similarly at the fourth position how many swaps can you make you can make two swaps okay similarly at the at this position how many swaps can you make you can make one swap right you can make one swap with this so how many strings you will get one plus two plus three plus four plus five what is this how to sum this you can simply do 5 into 6 by 2 you will get the answer right so 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 we know what is the summation for 1 to n, 1 to n but here it's n minus 1 because it's it's 5 right so so total characters you have is 6 but but what are you summing you are summing from 1 to 5 okay so 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 what is your uh, answer so what are you summing you are summing all the numbers from 1 to n minus 1 if all the characters are unique if 
okay if you have all unique characters then what you are doing you are summing you are summing 1 to n minus 1 this will be your answer if all the characters are unique what is your answer n minus 1 into n by 2 so here what is your answer 5 into 6 by 2 what is 5 into 6 by 2 5 into 6 by 2 is 15 so so for the simple case a b c d e f what is your answer your answer is 15 okay your answer is 15 because uh, it's very simple at the first position you can make five swaps at the second position four swaps and so on right now when does problem come problem comes when you have a case like this right now let's look at this case carefully a b a a c b let me write the case again so you have a b a a c b now uh, let me write the indices. See, if, if the answer had been very, if the case had been very simple with all unique characters, how many answers you will get? You will get 15 total uh, strings, right? But in this case, see, when you are trying to swap A, when you are trying to swap A, right? With this A, with this A, okay? If you swap this A with this A, what will you get? You will get A, B, A, A, C, B. Okay, this is okay. But now if you swap this A with this A, again, you will get the same thing. You will get A, B, A, A, C, B, right? So there is no difference between these two strings. Now these two strings are same. So you don't have to consider the string again. So what is happening whenever you have repeating characters, that is when you have problem. Similarly, right? Similarly, when you have repeating strings, right? Here you have this B and B, right? If you swap B and B, what will happen? Again, you'll get the repeating string, right? Again, you'll get the repeating string. So one time you see, so, so that is a problem. So how many times can you take repeating strings? They will, uh, uh, they don't want repeating strings. They want only unique strings, right? So what are you going to do? See, if if the if it would have been all unique characters, your answer would have been 15. But here you have repeating strings. How many strings are repeating? Let's let's take a frequency, right? Let's take a frequency map. A is what? A is occurring three times. How many times is B is B is occurring? B is occurring two times. How many times C is occurring? C is occurring once. This is your entire string, right? This is your entire string. Now A is repeating three times. That means how many strings will repeat? How many strings will repeat? It's occurring three times, right? So how many strings will repeat? Three into 3 into 2 by 2 right these many strings three strings will repeat okay so how will three strings repeat okay let, let's take the example in this case if you swap this a with a what will you get let me swap okay so let me write it i am swapping uh, the positions 1 and 3 what am i getting a b a a c b okay now let me take the next case next case is what i am going to swap 1 and i am going to swap 1 and 4 okay so 1 and 4 this a with this a so what will happen if i swap 1 and 4 again what i'll get a b a a c b both the strings are same okay both the strings are same now let me take the next case also let me take the next case i have i have the uh, string at position 3 okay now i will swap 3 and 4 i will swap 3 and 4 right what what will i get i will again get a b a a c b okay all these three strings are the same is there any difference between any of these three uh, uh, strings uh, none none of these uh, none of these um, strings are different right none of these strings are different all all of these three uh, strings are uh, uh, repeating right all of these three strings are repeating none of the um, strings are different okay that's why it's a problem because all of these three strings are repeating right so it's a problem so you don't want to take repeating strings okay so what we will do whenever uh, from the answer right from the answer answer should actually be 15 if all of them had been unique but how many strings are repeating three strings are repeating how do you know because what you did you did three into two by two because uh, there are three uh, there are three there's the count of a is equal to three right that means there are three positions that means there are three positions for a there are three positions for a now if you swap if you swap uh, if you swap any of the three positions right if you swap any of the three positions right what will happen so if you swap this a with this a and if you swap this a with this a how many swaps you'll get you'll get two swaps and similarly you'll get uh, one swap here which is repeating so three swaps are repeating so sum of one plus two is what sum of one plus two is nothing but two into three by two okay so that is what is three so that is what is three so that's why we took this formula so how many ever count you have right so so let's say the count of a was three so in this case the count of a was three so count minus one into count by two these many times you will get repeating strings right so in this case three minus one into three by two so that was equal to what that was equal to three so that's why you have three repeating strings so from the answer you will have to subtract the three repeating strings right so in this case what we will do we will subtract three repeating strings okay similarly let's come to b let's come to b so how many uh, strings will be repeating for b two into one by two one string will be repeating for b right one string will be repeating for b so you'll have to subtract the repeating string similarly for c how many strings will be repeating one into zero zero by two this is zero okay so this is zero so that's it so how many uh, how many uh, total uh, subtractions will you have to make how many total subtract how many total sub 
uh, subtractions will you have to make so for a you are making three subtraction uh, subtractions for b how many subtractions you are making for b you are making one subtractions so 15 minus 3 is what 15 minus 3 is 12 12 minus 1 is what uh, 12 minus 1 is 11 12 minus 1 is 11 okay but now you subtracted all the strings right you subtracted all the strings you have to consider one of the strings you have to consider at least one of the strings you don't want repeating strings but at least one of the strings you have to consider so at last we will also add one so 11 plus 1 12 will be the answer okay Let, let's take the answer so let's take the answer for the case a b a a c b right let's take the answer So the expected output is 12 okay the expected output is 12 that's what we are getting okay let, let's quickly take another example and then we'll move forward to coding it okay so what do you have let's say you have ghee okay very simple example let's say you have ghee so what are you going to do so you're just going to keep a frequency count so g is occurring once e is occurring twice k is occurring once okay if if there had been no repetitions right all of them had been unique what would have been the total number of swaps that you can make for the first character you can make three swaps for the second character you can make two swaps for the last character you can make one swap so what is the answer you the answer would have been six but is the answer going to be six let's see so what will happen is see uh, which string e is actually repeating so how many repetitions you are going to get you are going to get two two into what two into one by two you are going to get one one string repeated you are going to get one one repetitions okay you are going to get one repetition but you have to at least consider one of the answers you have to at least consider one of the answers so we will add one okay so the answer will be six okay let's take another example then only it will be clear let's take another example say geeks okay let, let's take another example so what what will be the answer in this case so how many times g is occurring once e is occurring four k is occurring uh, once s is occurring once okay four plus one is uh, five five plus one is six six plus one is seven right so what would have been the answer how many swaps can you make you are originally allowed to make seven into six by two swaps right so you are so the actual answer should have been 21 if none of them would have been repeating because for the first character how many swaps can you make you can make six swaps right one two three four five six for the second character you can make five swaps and so on you if you sum the series up to one what you will get you will get six into seven by two so what is that that is nothing but 21 but this is not the actual case because some of the strings are repeating which string is repeating here e is repeating how many times it's repeating four into three by two right so it's repeating six times so six of the strings are going to be repeating six of the strings are going to be but at least one of them you will have to consider one of them will be unique so what will be the answer 21 minus 6 plus 1 21 minus 6 15 15 plus 1 is 16 let's check if, if that is the answer so geek w e s okay let's check the answer So the answer is 16 right the answer is 16 now we understood the logic let's go forward to coding it so what are we doing we are going to keep a frequency right so we are discussing the count of characters so let's keep a count of characters since there are 26 alphabets so we can just uh, uh, give the sizes 26 okay now let's start coding it so what do we have to do so first of all uh, we have to keep a count of characters so count of characters is very simple how are you going to keep a count of characters just whenever you see the character increment its count in the map okay so let's say you are seeing whichever character just take its so if you do s of i minus a you will you will be getting the corresponding position for example if your character is b right if your character is b then if you do b minus a what you will get you will get one so at the first position in the count array what you are going to do at the first index you are going to increment the count okay that's it so you have made the count now you have the count of character that means what you have created you have created this array now what what will be your original answer let's calculate the original answer what is the original answer n minus 1 into n by 2 this should have been the answer if none of the if none of the characters are repeating right so what should be your answer so let's declare long long answer let's give everything long so that just in case we have no problem because we have to return long long answer okay so what should be your original answer answer should actually be okay let me take size of s also so uh, s dot size so what should be the answer answer should be equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 okay this should be the actual answer if none of the characters are repeating but we'll have to subtract for whichever strings are repeating we'll have to subtract that as the answer so now let's iterate over our count um, array and let's see okay so count of i okay so count of i will be what uh, for example let's say let's take this example so when e is equal to 4 right in this case count of i will be for for the character e in our example uh, what we will get count of i will be equal to 4 so how many times is it repeating 
फोर इंटू थ्री बाय टू राइट फोर इंटू थ्री बाय टू दिस वी विल हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट फ्रॉम द आंसर वाई वील हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट बिकॉज दीज मेनी स्ट्रिंग्स आर गोइंग टू रिपीट ओके बट बट ओके बट वॉट वील हैव टू डू वील हैव टू टेक सी इन द एंड वील ऑल्सो हैव टू डू अ प्लस वन इन द एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव टू डू अ प्लस वन बिकॉज एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ दो स्ट्रिंग्स यू हैव टू टेक रिमेनिंग रिपीटिंग स्ट्रिंग्स वी डोंट हैव टू टेक सो इफ काउंट ऑफ आईज इक्वल ग्रेटर दैन इक्वल टू वन वी कैन कीप अ फ्लैग वेरिएबल वी कैन कीप अ फ्लैग वेरिएबल सो इनिशियली फ्लैग इज इक्वल टू फॉल्स एंड वी कैन मेक फ्लैग इज इक्वल टू टू दैट मीन्स दैट मीन्स एटलीस्ट समथिंग इज रिपीटिंग राइट समथिंग इज रिपीटिंग सो दैट्स इट सो वी कैन रिटर्न आंसर बट बिफोर रिटर्निंग आंसर वॉट वी विल डू वी विल ऑल्सो चेक वॉट वील चेक वी विल सिंपली चेक ओके सो वी विल चेक फ्लैग इफ ओके इफ फ्लैग इज ट्रू राइट इफ फ्लैग इज ट्रू दैट मीन्स that something is repeating so you don't have to return answer you have to return answer plus 1 at least one of those strings you have to consider otherwise you will return answer that's it i hope that this so it's working for all the test cases